The Lebanese politician Saad Hariri has given up on his efforts to form a government nine months after he was designated prime minister. He said it was clear he would not be able to reach agreement with President Michel Aoun after the two men held a brief meeting. Tim Allman has the details. For far too long now, this is how politics in Lebanon tends to play out. Crowds of protesters clashing with security forces in Beirut. A country without a proper government, deep in recession and descending further into chaos. I can't feed my children, said this man. Who will feed them? Which leader? They should be ashamed. We're dying of hunger. The country is burning, said this man. There's no milk, no medicine, no fuel, no food. The poor can't even afford pasta and yoghurt. Where are we heading? We're dead either way. The latest outburst of violence prompted by an unsuccessful meeting between these two men, Lebanon's president, Michel Aoun, and Saad Hariri, the man tasked with forming a new administration. For months, they have failed to reach agreement, unable to decide on a potential cabinet in a deeply divided and sectarian country. Now those talks have been abandoned, Mr Hariri telling Lebanese television divisions had to be left behind. I have paid a price because I talk with Hezbollah. I believe in talking with Hezbollah. I'm one of those who paid a price when there was conflict between Sunni and Shiite. I'm a believer in dialogue. President Aoun criticised Mr Hariri, saying he wasn't prepared to discuss changes of any kind and he will now consult with Parliament. More talks, more uncertainty. There's every chance the protests will continue as well. Tim Allman, BBC News.